We begin with breaking news. The Schlitterbahn Water Park and Hotel are now in foreclosure. Chris Six broke the story at noon today. And we have continuing team coverage on the story tonight with six investigative reporters Jessica Savage and Rick Spruill, along with Chris Six reporter Jane Caffrey. And we begin now with Jessica. Lee, we don't know yet how the foreclosure could affect park operations, but we do know it is linked to a bankruptcy case filed last summer. And those financial problems worsened two weeks ago when the International Bank of Commerce foreclosed on the water park. Earlier today, we spoke to Mayor Joe McComb. He says city leaders are keeping a close eye on the foreclosure. That's because taxpayers invested more than $5 million to get this water park built. I'm disappointed for Schlitterbahn and the community that it happened. On the other hand, uh, if it brings in some investors that has the money to keep it running and keep it going, well, that'd be good for Corpus Christi. The current owners are a group called Upper Padre Partners. And the partners include the Henry family, which owns the Schlitterbahn water parks throughout Texas, and local developer Paul Shack Schneider. According to court records, the partners borrowed more than $30 million to build the water park resort. The first loan was in 2013, and the bank made a second loan in 2015. After the partners missed several loan payments, the bank foreclosed on that land January 16th. But the financial troubles for the park go back years. Court records show the feud between the partners spilled into bankruptcy court last summer, and that's where the arguments continue. I hope it gets resolved rather quickly, and particularly to have it open for summer. I mean, we're just on the threshold of spring break and, and getting into our summer tourist season. There is still time for the bank and the owners to work out an agreement, and if not, the park could go to the highest bidder on February 6th. Schlitterbahn tells us it plans to open the water park on April 28th, but if something were to happen, it would honor season ticket holders at other park locations. What about the business owners who were banking on the water park success? Jane Caffrey joins us live from near the park with their reaction. Jessica Schlitterbahn is one of the top five reasons people visit Corpus Christi, according to the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and businesses near the water park had banked on an economic splash with thousands of visitors. But now, with Schlitterbahn's future uncertain, many locals could also feel the impact. Walk into any business on Padre Island and you'll likely find some connection to Schlitterbahn. It's a project that had a lot of support from locals on the island and to hear about the foreclosure is very sad for us. Now Island residents are wondering how the park's uncertain future could change their personal futures. This woman's daughter worked as a lifeguard at Schlitterbahn. Schlitterbahn is a huge employer out here on the island. It's going to be missed if she has to go to something else. The owners of Island Joe's Coffee worry it could affect their plans to open a new location. Our new shop is going to be right across from Schlitterbahn. If it goes out of business, it will be a big eyesore on the island. And this donut shop owner not only saw his customer base increase by a third when Schlitterbahn opened, he also bought a house next to the water park, hoping to rent it out to tourists. I try to keep it, but if Schlitterbahn is going to close down, I can't afford to, to pay, so I had to put on the market. Although it's unclear what will happen to the water park if it's put up for auction, many island residents hope a buyer will keep it an island attraction. I do think that there's something to be said about the infrastructure that's already there, you know, the, the water park that's already been created, and, you know, that's being sold along with the property uh, to keep it a water park. And people involved in commercial development on Padre Island tell us this could impact future projects. They say retailers are hesitant to invest in an area where a major project has gone into foreclosure. But there are more than $100 million in incentives tied to the Schlitterbahn development. Chief investigative reporter Rick Spruill is in the studio with that part of the story. Well, Jane, the city threw almost $120 million in incentives to Schlitterbahn, but that's all they are, incentives. Think of them as sweeteners or tax breaks that are meant to lure the park to the island in the first place. City leaders say the vast majority, more than $110 million of those incentives, haven't even been paid out. So the park hasn't met some of the milestones needed to trigger them. It seems logical to think if the original developers lose the park to foreclosure, then that entire incentive, then that entire incentive plan will go with it. But that's probably a pretty lengthy legal question. In any event, 
Island Councilman Greg Smith says first things first. The main concern is settling who'll own the water park moving forward. But, uh, we need to be going forward and not looking backwards. So whoever the new owner is, uh, the sooner it happens, I think, the better the community is. And if, you, Ron, if you want to read up on that foreclosure auction, the court order is on our website. Now, as Jessica said, that auction is scheduled for February 6th. If it happens, that's next week. And it'll happen right down the street here at the courthouse. If someone buys that water park, we'll be there to tell you who. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Rick. Well, you may also be wondering about the Park Road 22 project that was part of the Schlitterbahn development. And we're talking about the Canal and Bridge project. It was originally approved by voters. It's also on hold now because the property where it would have been located was auctioned off back in December. It's now owned by an Austin bank, and there is no word yet on what the bank plans to do with that property. And a quick reminder, you can stay up on top of all of this, this breaking story, getting all the latest updates from our Chris 6 News app. It's free and easy to download on your smartphone. We're also following the story for you on all of our social media platforms.